Hi, this is Rob from Access TV, and I'm joined by Jamie Murray from the TV show Defiance, which is out on April the 16th. Hello, Jamie. Hello. How are thanks you? for having me. And we are now playing Defiance on the PS3. So this is like a, a TV show and a game crossover. Yeah, and they're both launching at the same time, and you know there'll be characters on the TV show going over to the video game, and vice versa, and there'll be common themes in both worlds. One world is set in San Francisco. You're in San Francisco now. This doesn't look like San Francisco. Uh, well, what happened was um, spaceships, uh, arcs, crashed on planet Earth, and they were full of of other species and animals and vegetation from other solar systems. So. Without meaning to, it's completely transformed planet Earth. Oh, there's other, there's other I'm being shot creatures at or humans over there. And you're playing as a human right now, but you could play as any one of the seven Votan races. Okay. And if you did, you'd have different So just, to, just as some backstory, we've created this character. Yeah. Um, we're, no, we're now past the tutorial stage. And I'm going to get out of the way because I'm going to die. Oh my goodness, run. I'm running away. I think you're a woman, aren't you? Yeah. So we've dropped into the open world now. Oh man, is it is? It's full on. You're getting huh? shot at this often when you're making the show. Well, oh. there's a, it's a very hostile world that we're living in, and and peace is very fragile. There's all sorts of different. Um, it's very beautiful, though, isn't it? It is beautiful. It's uh, it's, it's got a frontier feeling, but with all this strange alien vegetation. Oh, I think that's a hell bug. Up oh, there. I feel a bit. That's bad. what that's what this is. A little ugly hell bug. They're, oh. they're they're not very nice <laughs> critters. Those. I'm really happy about killing that hell bug. So happy. That I'm going to do a little dance. Oh yeah, he's got rhythm. She's got rhythm. <laughs> So tell us a, bit, a little it, bit about your character, Jamie. Who do you who do you play? Well, I, I actually play an alien. An alien. Um, yeah, she's a, she's a, a Castathan alien, and the Castathans, I would say, are the closest to human beings in the way we look. We're we're the most highly evolved of the aliens, but uh, I've got they have characteristically very pale eyes, and and they have long uh, white or grey hair and white skin. Uh, they're very, very intelligent race, um, but as a species, they they're very ambitious mm -hmm. and and they're very good at getting what they want. They're very creative, so I suppose you could say they're rather shrewd and cunning. And working in a TV show that's got like a game running alongside it, does that is that affected the way the TV show was made in any way? I mean, well, how does it yeah. compare to when you're in obviously like Spartacus and Dexter, things like that? How is how is that different? Well, you know, it, it's great on a sci-fi show to have um, a very strict given set of circumstances. Yeah. Y you need, you know, a lot of uh, highly successful sci-fi shows are based on books and things because you need the mythology to make sense. Sure. And, you know, the TV show, we, we had a mythology coordinator because we had to make sure that both the game and the TV show were in sync. <laughs> that is the best job title I've ever right? had. Right? What a brilliant <laughs> job. Yeah, I'm a mythology coordinator. So as an actor, if you're unsure about something or you ask a question, there is a generally an answer to your question, which makes it much easier to make decisions as an actor and invest in the world that you're in when it's, when it's been so beautifully constructed and thoughtfully constructed. There's a lot of action in this. Is it yeah. quite an action? I mean, it's making me a little bit anxious watching it. I, <laughs> I mean, he just I'm crept really, right really up. I'm really, good at the game, though, so you're fine. But this is—is is this your first time playing it? It is actually. Yeah, that just goes to show you how. Well, we've created this character and jumped straight into the, to the open world. Yeah. And uh, these mutant riflemen—do they make an appearance in the show? There's there's hell a lot bugs, of there's hell, bugs hell bugs, the shady goings on. There's lots of climatic change which affects both worlds at the same time. There's militia. There's there's policy. There's politics, and you know, it, it's all going down. Uh, we strange weather. Uh, you can see that it's quite a, a dirty world. You know, I'd get all dressed up for set. I go for my costume fittings, and my uh -huh. my cat, my race, my species wears. Um, a lot of white, and I'd go for these fittings, and they'd make me these amazing costumes. And then by the time I went to set, a couple of days later, they would have shredded them and cuffs splattered them in dirt, and because 
you know, there aren't any shops in this world. No, this it is, like this it. is pretty much the Wild West. A very beautiful Wild West, though. I mean, yeah. I guess not all the world is as picturesque well, as this. Well, there, there's so many different um, worlds. You know, this you're, you're above land right now, but when the ox crashed, some of them became embedded in the earth. There is a terraforma below the surface, so there's there's many different um, looking uh, environments to inhabit. You probably at some points come across different arcs that you have to go into to look for artifacts. Um, I mean, obviously, I guess you can't spoil heaps of the story, but what what kind of you know? your specific character's story, what was she well, after? Well, I, I love uh, the fact that the world is so rich, but it really is just a, back, a backdrop to this, um, it's a real character piece and it's based on the relationships and I would say at its heart it's an immigrant drama, you know, these people are finding a way of living together and sometimes they're successful and sometimes they're really not and it's, mm -hmm. there's a lot of tension. Uh, there's a lot of people reinventing themselves. There's alliances formed, and 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 you know, there's people with ulterior motives. Uh, so there's lo a lot of fun drama to be had. So when this but launches on April the second, can you see yourself getting involved? This is a mega multiplayer online experience. Can I, you I'm, see you I'm, in the game? I'm gonna have to maybe meditate before I play it because it's <laughs> actually making me anxious watching you play it. There's a lot going on. It's a very rich world, isn't it? What's that over there? That's well, like that's, a crashed arc? Yeah, that's a crashed arc. So I would think that if you're looking for artifacts, that may be the place to go to. But it's... it's um, if I die, I yeah, think it's your fault now. The, the thing is, you're going to have a shootout here because everyone's going to be looking for these artifacts because they're very valuable, because they contain advanced alien technology and intelligence. What's that humming noise? Jamie, what's that? I, I don't know. Help I me. didn't make you go here. You throw did. a grenade or something. <laughs> just did throw a grenade. So aren't you going to try and get into the ship? I will do. I'm just going to make clear okay, out these there. Right. Uh, I see. You've got tactics. These guys I first. can't believe I'm questioning a good gamer on his <laughs> tactics. <laughs> I'm so backseat driving. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's going to take like off. sounds like it's about to take off, doesn't it's it? It's not. I'm not going to go inside that vent again because I nearly got burnt can't when you I was there last the other time. Side? Have a look. I'm going to follow these little dots. I'm like, oh no, what is this? It's like an encampment of some sort. Full of good people. So, how would you join up with another gang and, and play the game? Would you just choose? I don't think you even have to. I think uh, you, you can kind of choose who you join up with um, right. when your friends join the game with so you. So, how did you, you know, know not to kill that chap? because he's not oh, firing he's, he's at me. Earth Republic. He's <laughs> yeah. Earth Republic. These are okay. friendly guys. This is an encampment of friendlies. Ah, so you can have a cup of tea, like I said. Uh, do they have tea? I hope so. Well, maybe in uh, post-apocalyptic San Francisco? Yeah. One would hope. They're not a very talkative bunch, are they? No. Don't do your dance here. I'll do something else instead. Oh, greet. Oh, no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should shoot one of them. Oh no, do not shoot him! <laughs> no? No, he's harmless. Waste of ammunition. I think I'm going to head to that glowing orange exclamation mark on the map, Jamie, because that says what, what to me that something will be there. Well, what? Oh. What would it be? Something like ammunition, or would it be a. A mission, I think. Oh, there he is. Ooh, Hell be careful. Everywhere. It's fine. Oh, God, you're so brave. <laughs> 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 you don't care about the Hellbugs. Mount Tam. Does that ring any bells for you? Mm, if I live in Saint, the old St. Louis. You're in San Francisco. I'm of very little help in okay. this situation. I waft around looking good as an alien. Oh, that looks like a... Okay, we'll like accept that mission. You know, you're a human now, but you could probably play this game as any of the aliens. 
Yeah, I think we've created a, a human character. This, is a, uh, this isn't looking good. This isn't looking good. Ooh, I'm ooh, okay. I'm ooh. okay. Hide behind the tree. I'm not okay. Where's this enemy coming from? It's right there. Who's saying cover you? Whew. Ammunition. Right, let's head towards this marker. Well, there you are. That's the that's the artifact. So an evac seat is that like a, an ejector seat from an arc or something? Oh. How do you know where an open area is? You just got to keep running until I'm you just see following one. the big orange icon. Right. <laughs> so I guess you don't get to experience the world like this when you're making the TV show. You're just standing in front of a green screen all the time. Well, um, a lot of it is actually built. A lot of it is, uh, we, we have this huge, we have this huge back lot that's built in Toronto. We film in Toronto, okay. Canada. Um, but a lot of the, the fight scenes and, and the, a lot of the stuff is done on green screen. But luckily enough, my character, I haven't had to do too much green screen, just a bit. Oh, more of these guys. I'm getting a grenade in there. Do you get to do much kicking of ass in the my, show? My, my character is quite, uh, she's quite an aristocratic lady. It's almost like being in a period piece a bit for me. But there's, there's just so many elements to the show. You know, Julie Benz, who I was in Dexter with, she, she, her character's a bit more kick-ass. She, she got to play with guns and go to war. I'm more scheming behind the scenes. Oh, OK. I, I actually speak a, a alien language. Really? Can you speak some for us now? Yeah, I learned an alien language. It was, uh, it was constructed by the linguist that did uh, the Dothraki, Dothraki language oh, on Game, Game, of, Game Thrones. of Thrones. And um, my language, of course, is out of all the alien races, spoken the fastest and the most rapid. It's okay. so hard to learn. But uh, it sounds a bit like this. That sounds really hard to learn. It was hard <laughs> to learn, but after a while you kind of hear the musicality in what it. What did you just say? Well... Or is that a secret? It's a secret. Okay. I would give away the whole show if I tell you what I just said. Did you just spoil the ending? Exactly. <laughs> we've got, we've got, we've got Castor and swear words and everything, but I actually speak the English language with uh, a faint American accent because we landed in St. Louis, but I speak it as if it was my second language. I see. So, so your character's kind of picked up English. Yes, yeah, so it was, and but also she learned it before she came to the planet Earth. So it's quite formal, and you know she searches for words and stuff. It's not her first language, and she's much more fluent, obviously, in her own language. This is the last body. It's gonna be the one. Now there's no exclamation mark to follow. What's Ooh. that? Oh my goodness. I don't know that. I don't think he was friendly. <gasps> oh, I didn't want to do that really, did I? <laughs> I survived. That's going to hurt your hamstrings. Okay, so it looks like I'm about to meet up with Captain Grant. Um, I think that's a, probably a good place to stop our little 15 minute tour through the world of Defiance. Um, thank you very much, Jamie Murray, thank for you. being Thanks my so guide much. through the, the wilds of post-apocalyptic San Francisco. And don't forget, Defiance is available on PS3 on the 2nd of April. The TV show, in which you can see Jamie Murray doing her amazing alien <laughs> language in, <laughs> is, is uh, airing on the 16th of April. So make sure you tune in for that. <laughs>